Move on to the next page. We got the ROM, which has got which is the ROM board. This little guy. Like that. And again we got two, four, six. Wait, different techniques this time. I'm going to try and pop. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. A bit more of that. Is that the right number? It is good. And then. We have three and a three. Now, yeah, this is where I bought some extra single in line jobbies. Like that. So, three pin headers should be fitted horizontally as indicated. Yeah, okay. Jumpers across these select which 8K bank of the ROM to use. For basic, use jumpers between A and O on each one. A and O on each one. To keep them spaced evenly, use jumpers vertically between the headers when soldering. Right, so we need a three and a three. Now I'm going to use my existing. The same right. So let's. We don't need any more of these. Do we need? None. But I use more on the CPU board than has arrived. Just so I never have to solder again. So let's take, we have three there, let's take one off this guy, somehow, maybe one of these, like that, a single one is probably going to be useless, put that in the junk, and let's break off three. Three, three, and three, and then we have. We're going to do the same technique of the jumpers. Fortunately, I have a bag of jumpers. These are going to be horizontal. And to keep it neat and tidy, we're going to want one there. Bloody hell, these jumpers are a bit. Well, maybe they're okay. Stiff is the word I was looking for. Okay, put that there. Put that. Come on. Should have done that first. I think what I might do is a different construction technique this time. Do a line. Take them off and do the next one. If that's possible. In the meantime, we got some of these guys. One of those, so these are all the same. Come on, that. Right, you pop. Same, I guess. 
guess that's the I.O. one. And there's two of the oh, ROM. So this goes that way, like that. And then we need one of these guys, which you have to be very careful not to muck up the pins, which I did already. All right. Okay. So if we do both at the same time, are they the same height? We've got pin one the right around. Seems seems good. Right, so let's get soldering. Let's do This is a bit awkward actually. There we go. And on that corner. Let's do it in the middle. It's actually quite thin. Okay. So we're good. So I think it's time for brief pause. Let's see if I can get a bit of better light. No, it turns out I have no other slides that I can find. So we're just going to crack on. So.
Hello. Okay. Let's run up the other side then. Okay. Back again, this time with a lump. After the memory card filled up, I said, right, I'm going to get myself a lump. So, continuing where I left. Okay, so I think I'll have a quick look. Looking good. So, this one, we're going to put this in this way. Well, that's nice and snug. hot right now so I think that's nice and square so we can just
zombies. Okay, let's just check the camera's still filming. If it's reasonable with the light, it seems a bit. Well, we're running out of batteries. This is excellent. So, we might have to. I'm not sure I thought this one through. I thought the camera would last more than a couple of hours on batteries. But, never mind. I guess if it runs out of batteries, I'll put it on to charge, have a spot of dinner. If I was thinking, I would have charged it when I had to get the lamp, copied everything off the memory card. Never mind. Okay, so. That appears to be what are they looking? They looking good? I think I'm into the groove of soldering again. So these guys need to be horizontal across, okay. Because it doesn't matter which way they are. This is going to be a little bit annoying. Let's get one corner in. Let's get one corner in. Okay. It'll be a little fiddly, because you can't see anything, because it's uh, you know, the middle one is going to be the sod. So let's get that middle one good. Okay, here we go. There we go. Okay, 
anything you got here. Okay. Have a look at that. Mm, a bit messy, but I think it's alright. Okay, so black jumpers. So, okay, no jumpers are not. So, for basic, use jumpers between A and 0. Between 0, A and 0. A and zero, let's say. Oops. Oh. Oh, jump press. Reminds me of hard drives. Looking good. So, we need some chips. Let's have a look then. So twenty C five twelve. I think it is this Atmel one. 27C512 because the RAM is the 62256, 62256. Perfect. So it's this one. Okay. And a little bit. Comes home. It's a bit scary. And a seventy a seventy four LS three two three. So I guess these little guys. Seventy. Oh my days. Right, so that is the RAM. That's the I.O. The 74LS32. And the RAM has the 74LS32, one of these. Check them out for the that's that's the RAM and that's RAM and a seventy four LS04 seven they're all are they all identical SM seventy four and so to four C H C two four. 
We might be an IO board, how do say? Okay. This is a conundrum. Seventy-four. Okay, super nothing. Wrong. Seventy-four. Thirty-two. Okay. Ram as the. Seventy four and the seventy thirty two. Oh, the clock. The clock has a seventy four T four. Right, so. That's right, so this goes pin one called another collection. Checking that was what I ran to start with, but we did have to do it right. Oh bugger. This is gonna be much more tricky. Let's so see if it's still filming. Just I suspect. It is, 16 minutes. I'm trying to still flashing. I wonder if I should turn the screen off when it's filming. Somehow. Uh, a bit more this way. I'll overcook that just slightly. Down, but that's enough. Okay, second module completed. This is superb. Rom onto the rim. Should be a doll. Same process as.